coming into a training camp environment or a setting, what what's generally your focus or your approach or maybe kind of what you're looking to get out of it? Um, it, it depends. It all depends on every every tournament that we're in. Uh, of course, we're going into the Olympic Games right now, so I want to work on all those weaknesses that I feel I've had throughout the season. So going through a lot of video footage, looking at the data and seeing where uh, where it's been good and what, what's what's good, what's bad. Um, and then trying to put that into practice on, on, the, on the strip and working on it. See, I'm getting all, all the Americanisms for you. The strip instead of the feast. <laughs> How, how long is that taken to, to come oh around Oh, God, to? don't. That's been killing me. <laughs> so especially, I've, I've been away for four weeks when I've just come back working with the kids from the club, and they look at me like, what? They have no idea what I'm saying. It's taken them all this time for three years. They understand me. I go for four weeks, and now we've got to start all over again. Back to your roots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about, how about um, as far as, you know, you, you talked there about kind of your focus, and, of course, it's all situational, whether you're – first World Cup of the season, or right now yeah. going into the games. Um, outside of that, in this week particular, preparing for the games, what things do you need in your arsenal to go into Reno, Rio and medal? <laughs> Reno. <laughs> <laughs> A little different uh, stage there. <laughs> um, honestly, I, I would say right now, you know, we've, we've done an entire season. Um, we've covered virtually everything in, in the season. You know, now it's really injury prevention is the biggest thing. We don't want to go and get injured right now. So we're, we're all taking it a little bit easy. We're working on small, minor details that need changing. Um, for me, I've wanted to improve my footwork, just get those little steps working, you know. Um, those are areas that I feel I need to improve on. You know, Alexander will have his thing. Garrick and Grace will have their things that they want to work on. And, and we just bring it together. But really, the, the big thing is not no injuries, you know, we, we've got just a few weeks left. I go back on the 9th, so in two days I go back to San Francisco, it's two weeks there, and then we fly out to Rio. So really now it's, it's about sort of probably in the next few weeks, start tapering back, you know, start taking it easy. Um, we don't want to overdo it, we don't want to be fatigued. You know, we've gone quite hard at this camp, uh, which has been nice. And like I said, we'll probably another week really intensive and then really sort of start to taper back. Combining that fine-tuning approach right now with what you said of, of a winning focus on practice bouts versus more of a, a process yeah. focus. One, one person here in the U.S. that said something uh, that really stood out to me was, was senior men's epic fencer Ben Bratton, who talked about he goes into a practice and focuses on getting a certain number of touches before he leaves that practice feeling accomplished. Yeah. So whether it takes him 15 bouts to get there or two bouts, that's his goal. How, how does that approach kind of compare with maybe your style or the GB style or the Masiala um, styles? It, it, it's similar in, in a way. You know, it, for me, I'm very goal orientated. So whenever I come into a practice, I, I have goals. Um, they're just not specific to touches. So where he's, wor I'm sure he's working on something and perhaps in those touches, it's specific action that he wants to do. Um, for me, it will be similar. It might be working on three in a row, or I want to work on four repost, or you know, faint disengage, whatever it is. Um, it's just a, it's a different, uh, different goal, but it's the same uh, idea of what, what we're working on. He's coming into practice, whereas the difference between the elite level and, and, and the kids is the kids will often come to practice and they just go through the motions. They'll just do their full repost and then uh, they'll just hit because it's there. You know, instead of well, that was the easy touch. We need to be working on things that we can't do on a regular basis, and that's where the elite level, it changes. All right, James Andrew, thanks again, and best wishes in Rio. Thank you.